Hey everyone, Claymore here. I have a knife video for you today, but please excuse the noisy background because we're somewhere in the outdoors. Check that out. Somewhere deep south in the Philippines. Okay, so it's appropriate for me to bring my very trusty EDC knives and these are my uh, Ontario Rat Model 2. Okay, let's check them out. Let me give you a tour around here while I talk about this uh, humble but very functional knife that I have. I've been collecting knives for quite some time and I've kind of leveled up when it comes to pricing and uh, blade steels and all that. Ontario Rat number 2 is kind of a starter knife for me but for some reasons I have not fallen out of love of this one. I even purchased more of them. I started with just uh, the OS 8 and now I have five of them. Here they are. I thought I'd bring them with me so that they will be with me in experiencing this wonderful nature. Let's talk about them. Uh, this is not a review because this is a very popular knife. There's a ton of video reference when it comes to their reviews, specs and um, their performance and all that. So I just want to show you the five Ontario Rat number two that I have, why I like them. I prefer my knives to be within 2.5 to 3.5 inches of blade length and so this is uh, just perfect for me. A 3 inch blade length, a little less than 4 inches of handle. The one with the green nylon, I believe this is nylon uh, grip scale. So this one is in D2. I get an acid wash and stone wash. This is the first time I did acid and stone wash and it's not very impressive. Then I got this Knifeworks exclusive in bright orange handle scales. This one is not its original blade because I had to swap it with uh, another OS 8 because I like the contrast between the orange and black. So uh, I swapped it with, this is my first Ontario Rat number two, but this one I had it painted with Cerakote FDE along with the pocket clip. Now it looks different, different from the rest of Rat 2. Oh, impressive looking one. I got this R2-D2 in tan scales. This is D2 and I have forced a patina on it. I don't know if you can see. Awesome looking one. And finally I have this one in carbon fiber scale with black coated blade. A different handle scales I like it so those are my five uh, R2D2 no 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 uh, two of them are OS 8 now the best thing about the Ontario red folder is that it's the best bang for the buck I don't think any knife can beat it when it comes to value for the money I mean look at this one it's very it's got a very functional blade shape. The ergonomics is just awesome for me and especially the the, the the model 2 which is smaller and I got smaller hands it just fits perfectly with my four fingers. Whatever grip that I make just perfect. You got uh, four position for the pocket clip so if you are left handed or right handed you want it Tip down, tip up, no problem. We got it for you. Now, in matters of sharpness, the Ontario Rat number two is 
they came really sharp out of the box and it struck in their and they became hair popping sharp maintenance of the sharpness is also a breeze because the os aid while well the os aid is not really um, tough on the edge retention as compared to the super steels but they're quite easy to restore back to hair popping sharpness this one's the D2. Now here they are, dipped in the crystal clear waters here. And one of the best things about the Ontario Rat 1 and 2 is that they are so easy to disassemble and assemble. So maintenance is just a breeze. Later on I'm gonna disassemble them, wipe them up take away the moisture and uh, lube them good and they will be ready to go again All right what I do wish for the wrap too is that they come up with other options color options maybe they got the pink one in model one they got the powder blue but I don't know for whatever reasons they have that they don't make it in, in the model two I also wish that uh, they come up with different handle scales materials such as micarta, brass maybe, titanium. Also blade steel, this should be coming up with more, uh, more of a high end blade steel such as S35BN, stuff like that, even M390, that would be a welcome development. Alright. Hey, so I'm having a little disassembly job in here I have dipped all five of them in water today so it would be wise to dry them up wipe out the moisture and then lube them and the thing about this rat is that they're so easy to assemble and disassemble Oops, this screw is giving me trouble, so there. Easy peasy. So now I have disassembled the five Ontario Rat Model 2s. Each one of them. Scales, blades, liners, pocket clips, pivot screws, the other screws and the washers are all separated. The standoffs, I enclosed them here because they got a tendency to roll. I don't mind them interchanging. I have here my Torx bits. I'm gonna clean them up with the alcohol, dry them, and then lube them with this trusty frog lube, and then reassemble them. I don't know how long is it gonna take. Might be sleeping a little late tonight, so let's get it done.